I do now have some closure because, I, I, you know, he's been found. This morning, we are hearing from Alan Livingston's mother for the first time since her son's remains were identified. Livingston disappeared 30 years ago, leaving his family wondering what happened until now. Livingston's remains were among the thousands of bones and bone fragments found on the Westfield property of suspected serial killer Herb Baumeister. Investigators believe Baumeister killed at least two dozen people. It was Livingston's family that helped renew this push for answers in the Baumeister case when Sharon's nephew reached out to the Hamilton County coroner last year. This week, there was a match the, to the DNA sample she submitted back in December. I'm a little more at peace, but not completely until I get my son. I just want my son. It's just ironic that Alan's the reason why the case got reopened. Right. And then he's the first identified. Yep. 30 years Th later. 30 years later. Sharon tells us her family plans to have a celebration of life for Alan at some point. They hope this outcome encourages others to give their DNA if they have missing loved ones they think could be one of those victims.